Hey everybody, I'm Dave, the Fibro Outdoorsman. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make coffee while out on the trail. Okay, this is a portable espresso maker called a Nano Presso. Makes outstanding espresso. In fact, it's better than most home machines. So this is the unit that packs nice and small. Here's my dog Cooper. Go on, Cooper. There's a bottom here that you fill with water once you've boiled some water. And if you need a cup, the very bottom here can be a cup. Now normally to use ground espresso, you would put espresso into this top cup screw this on, fill this up with hot water, put it back on the bottom, and then when you press this in and twist it, a little pump comes out. So you turn the unit upside down and pump espresso right into your cup. Now I'm not going to use ground espresso this morning. I'm going to use a, an add-on accessory for the Nano Presso. It's the NS adapter. This is for the Nespresso pods, which are kind of like little K-cups with espresso made for special espresso machines. There's some here, this one's from Pete's Coffee. And it looks just like a little K-cup. So I'm gonna take off the bottom of the Nano Presso adapter. I'm going to push the cup down and you probably can't see it but there's little almost like little metal spikes that stick up that perforate the bottom of the module or the cup so I'm going to put that in put this back in and just screw this into the top now I need to boil some water for that I'm going to use my old MSR pocket rocket stove. I've had this stove about 12 years. It's been bomb proof. And it just works and works and works. I've had it at high elevation. I'm somewhere around 9,500 feet right now. I've had it up to 11, 12,000 feet. I've had it down below sea level in um, Death Valley National Park. The thing just works no matter where it is, no matter how cold or hot it is outside. So it sounds like this canister is just about empty. Let's see if we can get enough to boil some water. All right, I'm gonna let that boil and I'll come back when it's ready. What makes this Nano Presso work so well is that it, it builds up incredibly high pressure inside of it, higher pressure than most home espresso machines. Now espresso is a very finely grind coffee and you use pressure to drive the hot water or steam through the, through the coffee grounds. The higher the pressure, the more flavor you get and the higher the pressure, the more cream or crema that you get on top of the coffee. Looks like Cooper came to visit. So again, I'm gonna fill the water reservoir up to this line inside here with boiling water. And screw it on, turn the machine upside down, and then just start pumping it. And the espresso will come out the bottom there. Careful not to pour this on my fingers. Okay, so this goes on the bottom. Turn it upside down. I think it takes about eight pumps to start and somewhere between 16 and 20 to finish. There you can see the espresso coming out. The Nanopresso 
they recommend that you do one pump per second to maintain the pressure. You don't want the pressure to get too high or too low. So you can see that espresso coming out. Man, this stuff tastes great. So much better than instant coffee or percolated coffee. I think this is the, the best coffee you can make out on the trail. Okay, I think it's about finished. There's my espresso. You can see all that cream on top. Mm, that's as good as it gets. That's some really good espresso. Now, if you don't like pure espresso, if you think it's too strong, you can always add hot water into it and make an Americano, which is like a strong, flavorful black coffee. I like it just like this, though. You can see right about here, that mountain off in the distance with snow on it. It's kind of hazy, hard to see. That's Pikes Peak. I'm up in the Pikes National Forest. Perfect place to enjoy a cup of coffee this morning. Now when you're finished, cleanup is really easy. You can just take this apart, rinse out the different components. It was nothing but boiled water in the bottom here, so we didn't really have to rinse that. Just use a little, little bit of water, rinse out these parts. Here's the old module, I'll throw that in the trash. Just rinse this out. And this plug will come out of here to make it easy to rinse. That's it, you're done. Easy to clean, easy to make. Hello, Cooper. My favorite method of making coffee out on the trail. I'll put a link down below where you can find this. Again, this is a Nano Presso. It's by a company, W-A-C-A-C-O, like whack -a cow something like that. So I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find it. What's your favorite method for making coffee on the trail? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks.